Well, it just immediately jumps us from the second to the seventh. All right, before I read that, let me do my intro. Hey guys, what's up? Lord Mitra again here, your Lord of Video Games, and welcome to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel 4. Last time, we did go into a trial in the labyrinth to kind of prepare us and make us stronger for what's coming up next in the story. And we are in Aaron Village, if you guys don't remember, which is the village of the witches. Anyway, we are continuing off right where we left off. Yuna and the others spend day after day in the labyrinth training constantly. No sooner had they gotten their strength back, d did they receive a message from old class 7. What are the odds? New class 7's own, own day of departure then came with the following dawn. I can fish? There has to do there has to be stuff here, right? Before I leave, I have to fully explore this. All right, we're ready. I guess we're going to be in other types of clothes, right? Wow, these feel great they're so easy to move around in all right i'm gonna take these off to just see what they're talking about your guys new outfits look great on you too thank you i'm surprised how well they suit me yes i didn't expect much modern clothing from an ancient village of witches some of us bring back magazines from the outside world from time to time it is enough for us to keep track of the latest fashions I once tried dressing a little more hip, as the young people say, but Emma said it did not suit me. Heh, <laughs> guess she can be surprisingly stubborn about that kind of thing. I suppose it does behoove her as the village elder to put up forth an appearance of grace and dignity. Well, I wish I could have seen that. I bet you were really cute. Anyway, it seems like we can finally get started. Yes. Beginning today, we can take our first steps toward finding our instructor. Yes, that is something I want. The previous day. For real? What kind of lead did you guys find? At this point, it's only a tentative possibility based on grandmother's abilities and our own investigations. But it, if it goes well, we may be able to pin down the Black Workshop's location. That's excellent news. Yeah, it definitely seems like the place they'd be keeping him. But how exactly are we supposed to find it? I understand your concern. In the 800 years since the witches and gnome split, we haven't even found a trace of their headquarters. They may have mechanisms in place to evade our senses, or perhaps they may even be hiding in a different dimensional space. If their lay tr layer truly exists somewhere within the Empire, however, that narrows our search considerably. The Great Twilight has caused an unprecedented disruption in the spirit veins. There are several spots across Erebonia when the local mana has been stirred into a frenzy. We call these spots singularities. So far I can discern there are seven such spots of notable size. The members of Old Class 7 have already been dispatched to check the ones in Cruzen, Norsha, and Nord. There are two more in Sutherland and Lemaire, and the final two have yet to locate. Our plan is to drive a spirit stake into each of these singularities in order to stabilize them. Once we can use the spirit veins again, any blank spots on our map will stand out clear as day. Hmm. That's good. Interesting. It's almost like a magical version of active sonar. Clever. Instead of searching for the workshop itself, you'd be singling out places your senses can't reach. The theory's solid enough, at least. You two really followed all that? Uh, I mean, right. Sounds good. Remember, there are no ca guarantees this will actually lead us to the workshop. And unless we find those last two singularities, our odds of success aren't that great. Still, if there's even the smallest possibility, we'll put everything on it. 
Whatever it takes, we'll find Reen and bring him home. Everyone. You're right. You're totally right. Let's do this. Thank you. All of your help. With all of us working together, we should have it done in no time. You can leave the singularities in the east and north to us. The rest is up to you, new class 7. Right. Let's get it. Oh, now they show us our clothes. <laughs> Funny how that worked. They look pretty good. They look clean. I like it. We'll be heading out now, Roselia. I'm glad to hear it. You all worked exceptionally hard to recover your lost strength. Considering the trials you've overcome so far, I have every confidence you'll succeed in your mission. Thank you. Instructor Randy, will you be coming with us? Yeah, for at least a little bit. I want some answers too. I figure I might be able to track down Teotot if I stick with you guys. Thanks. That, I mean, that makes sense. We should be able to pick up some information as we travel. I recommend you guys start looking by for the Sutherland Singularity. Do you have any tools I gave you? Do you have the tools I gave you? Yep. Ah. And steak. It's these steak things, right? Once you find a singularity, we drive these in to stabilize them, right? That pendulum looks a lot like the pendant Emma gave Instructor Reen. It's made of materials that react to large concentrations of mana. It also acts the key to linking this village to the outside world. Head through the woods on the outskirt of town. The teleportation stone should there should take you to the Ishtma Great Forest. Ooh. Ah, but before you go, I have a message from some of the villagers. Hmm? Oh. Please stand Keeper and Gandalf the Blacksmith. Euclase too. They all said they have something for you. Euclase is at the center of the village, while Lise and Gandalf can be found in their respective establishments. I wonder what is they want to give us. Ah, uh, I feel bad. They've all done so much for us already. Hey, no harm in accepting a little extra hospitality if they want to give it. That's true. Obtain attachments for Altina. You now set each character's costume and attachments in the costume section. If no costume item is equipped, the character's costume will automatically change with the story. During some scenes, costumes relevant to the scene will be shown, even if a costume item is equipped. Okay. Alright, let me do this real quick and I'll meet you guys. Alright, so these are some places we need to go. The inn is the first stop. Alright, what do we get here? Oh, well, look who stopped by. Yep, Rose passed your message on to us. You said you had something to you wish to give us, correct? Yeah, I mean, it's nothing special, really. But if you're going to be traveling around, you're bound to get a lot more chances to cook for yourselves. So I thought you might like this. Recipe book. Again, a recipe book? Ooh! It looks like a lot like the one Instructor Reen used. I'm glad you like it. I hope you get some good use of it. Here, take these two. It's a tavern's recommended recipe and the ingredients to go along with it. Yes, let's go. This is quite generous. Are you sure you want to give us this much? Don't be shy, my dear. Go ahead and take it. It doesn't matter who you are. You still need to keep your strength. Whatever else might happen, You've got to at least try to get in some regular meals. This is also very sweet of you, Lise. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're a real lifesaver. About making food. If you have recipes ingredients, you can cook food. You can learn recipes by trying dishes at restaurants. You can also learn them from recipe books. About unique dishes. When certain characters make a dish, they make a unique dish that is different from the recipe. Depending on what dish you have them cook, they may also end up with superb food or even throwing something downright peculiar. Be sure to experiment with new party members. Alright, yep. 
We already covered this in the third one as well that I had a lot of fun making. Wait, let me actually ch Ah, she already gave me that, but let's see what else. All right. Next one. This one's easier. So that way we can just go to the Orvold factory from here. And you're going to teach us how to fish, right? Hey, you class. Oh, sorry. Are you busy? No, not at all. I've been waiting for you, actually. It would seem you are fishing rather than just waiting, actually. I can do both, can't I? Plus, it's related to what I wanted to talk to you about. I've been spending a lot of time outside the village lately, collecting intel on the rest of the world and all that. I ended up diving pretty deep in the world of fishing, in fact. I'm actually a registered member of the Imperial Fishing Club now. The Imperial Fishing Club. That's a professional fishing organization. They're affiliated with the Lake Lord Company, as I recall. Oh, right. Some of Instructor Reen's acquaintances are member too. The way I hear it, they're fierce rivals with Crossbell's Fisherman Skill. And how is all of this relevant to us? Well, the Ashen Chevalier's fishing prowess has been subject to some rumors around the club. Word is that you students of his aren't too shabby yourselves. Well, I guess we did get pretty decent at it. But I hear you guys lost all your fishing equipment and notes. I'll be frank, as a passionate practitioner of the angling arts, that's something I just can't turn a blind eye to. So, you lucky lot are in for a treat. Custom rod, fishing book and fishing bait, nice. This looks a lot like the fishing rod instructor Reen used. Are you sure you can? we can have this? Hey, things are gonna get rocky for you if going forward. Sometimes you just need to cast a line or two and let the world stand still a bit. You can buy more gear or trade in any fish you catch over the Lemuric General Store. It'll give you a special reward for catching different types of fish too. One for each milestone. Thank you. We'll be sure to check it out. One more thing. I don't know if it's gotten the, off the curse because of the curse per se, but the ecosystem's gotten a bit fishy lately. <laughs> if you'll pardon my language and my stupid pun. <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> You can see the weirdest outlines in the water sometimes. Might be worth keeping an eye out for. Thanks for letting us know. We'll be sure to keep it in mind. The fishing notebook has been unlocked. Press X near bodies of water to start fishing. You can view the information about the fish you've caught in the fishing notebook. Alright, we already know this. And you get better lines later on, or you can buy them too. You can now purchase various types of fishing gear at Lemuric. Well then, alright, but let's sit here for the orbs or orb shop. Nope, I went into the herbalist's home, okay. Wrong place, wrong place, my bad. There we go. What do you have for us? Sorry to call you over at a time like this. I know you must be busy. Not at all, it's fine. We heard you had something for us. Right, seeing as you're here, I thought you could use this rare quartz. Here you go. Analyze R. Nice. Wow, thank you. Uh, it's nothing special. Oh, and um, sorry, but you won't be able to use these in your ornaments immediately. Huh? Why is that? This kind of thing happens a lot with battle ornaments. Is it because our Arcus 2 units were upgraded to a new version? Uh, that's about the size of it. Oh, right. Same thing would happen with the Enigmas. I see. I remember hearing about a similar issue with the original Arcus units. Basically, you're gonna need to upgrade your slots if you want to make use of rare quartz. <laughs> Not again. The way I see it, the best way to learn is by doing. Take these and try it out. I'll sep if. Thank you. Wow, this is a lot. You're really pulling out all the stops to help us, huh? Gotta take care of our important guests, right? It's only natural. You can now upgrade slots at the workshop. Alright. Okay, can be upgraded to level 2. This is the same as Trails of Cold Steel 2. Okay, so that one of your party members slots upgrade. You can use the workshop by talking to Gandalf and selecting Modify Orbment. Oh, I have to do this. Okay, Modify Orbment, Slot. Hmm. 
So one of these. I'm not doing red. Wow, Randolph. Um, Yuda is someone we are going to keep using. So let's upgrade her up. And that's all I can. There we go. <laughs> you got your slots all upgraded? Yes, thanks to all the sepif you gave us. Hey, it's nothing. There's one other function to this version you'll be wanting to know about. Hold on to your hats. There's no more Submaster Quartz restrictions. From now on, setting up a Master Quartz in a sub slot, you can have them set for as many people at once as you want. Hmm, that is impressive. So, using Eunice Gold Quartz as an example. With this new version, Altina, myself, and Instructor Randy can all simultaneously use it as a submaster course. That's right. You sure pick up. You sure pick things up quick. Oh wow! I haven't heard of that. Seems like it's gonna come in handy. Yeah, for sure. We better set it all up now so we don't forget about it. Yes, thank you, Yuna. Use it however you see fit. Let me know if you want any new weapon upgrades or equipment before you go. You can now synthesize quartz and strengthen your weapons at the workshop. Alright, that's good. It tells you, alright, weapon quartz restimus. Additionally, you can select the exchange to trade sepith masses you obtain throughout the game for mirror money. Yeah, I know that, I already did that. You can trade elemental sepith in the workshop, but it can also be used to create quartz in open slots, so do so wisely. Sepith masses are only good for trading for mirror, so make sure you do so whenever you're short on mirror. Unlike your main master quartz, sub master quartz can be set up by several ma party members at once. Setting one master quartz to several characters at once won't increase the experience points it received, however. Ah. Mm, okay. Let's change your orbman settings. Select orbman from the camp menu. Alright, that's good. Well, uh, I think we're done here. Alright, then we should move on to the woods next. The ones we passed through to reach the St. Graal Labyrinth, correct? I never would have expected the Ishma Great Forest to have hidden, have a hidden side to it like this. Anyway, let's head outside the village. Okay, let's go. Let's actually explore a bit and see if there is anything else to do in the village. Another Imperial Chronicle. Be sure to come here to the general store and get it. Have a star on you. No, I haven't heard of it. Oh, all right, thank you. Alright, so, um, I guess we're going to have books now be starred. So that's good. We have a shop. What do you have in your shop? Oh, we get Brave Seed. I came here to see what the shop was all about. Alright, we will. Alright, off we go. We have done absolutely everything we could. We also equipped everyone. We bought the stuff. 
Um, I don't believe we had gear. No, we didn't have gear, so... I mean, weapons, so let's just move forward. Huh? That's... that's it, right? The teleportation stone? Yeah, first things first, let's head to the woods. Alright, let's go. Teleport to Eerie Forest. Or Eerie Woods. Well, here we are. We've come through here on the way to the labyrinth before, but the witch's tricks never cease to amaze me. Look at all these. Where are we though? Oh right, that path leads to the labyrinth. Okay, so that leads to the labyrinth. The teleportation stone for Sutherland is on the right. Let's go. Alright, let's oh uh, come on. It doesn't tell me anything. What about this way? A teleportation stone. Could this be? Let's see if the pendulum activates it. Well, yeah, we 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 went through others, but you know this one's the one we're supposed to go, I guess. Um, but there are no treasure chests. Teleport to Eerie Woods South. Hmm. Sure. just keeps on going and going. It seems there is a teleportation stone further up ahead that leads outside. Looks like we've got company nearby. Keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, more monsters. Is it just me or does this force give off the weirdest vibes? That would be the higher elements at work. They were kept in check within the St. Graal Labyrinth, unlike here. We'll just have to be extra cautious as always then. If an area has otherworldly atmosphere, it may mean the higher elements, time, space, and mirage are active. Monsters in these areas can be strong or weak to these elements, and the power of time, space, mirage arts is increased. In addition, a number of special AT bonuses will appear. These bonuses are especially dangerous, so be wary of letting the enemy get them. Yeah, that is true. Which is the bad status effect, status attack. Um, death blow, vanish, CP up to a hundred, increases the CP or CP loss completely. So you have to manage that very, very well. The orb was a, the orb was a monster. I didn't even notice. Okay. Keep in mind the orb is a monster. Alright, um, we do need to scan them, so hopefully I don't kill them. Right. Crafts detector on the sleep frog. This one has a kalabi fat. Miss Breath. I shall go. I shall use detector again on the Search butterfly. Cause I forgot to buy um I forgot to buy um the scanner things. Let's go. I am dumb and forgot to get them. Here I go. And I miss, now. of course. There we go. Battle complete. Let's continue. All right, so that is going to be, right, let's go this way. Remember f uh, fighting monsters just once. So yeah, there's a chest there. Whoo, baby, some treasure. Luminous glasses, all right.
new enemies here. Begin combat. Ah, come on. Didn't let me. <laughs> you can't escape. Fire! Let's go. Hmm. We need to scan those, but ugh. Yeah. It's just how I didn't get that um, activation. Ah, oh, of course. This is gonna suck. Not today. How did that reach all the way? Okay. That's not I fair. Go. I don't have. Oh, I have battle scopes. Okay. And now let me use this so I can kill everything. About time I got this started. Eat steel. Berserker. I'd just give up if I were you. Still badass. <laughs> no problemo. Good break. This chest has powder potions. Oh, this is not creepy at all. Huh? An opening. This is very not creepy. Even wolves. Whoa. All right. Um. Let's use a battle scope on the banshees. Yeah. And then detect her on the wolves. I shall go. Yeah, they're all the same. Search mode activate. Detailed information Perfect. obtained. It's my turn. All right, Yuna. Ha, ha. Let's see if you can it's kill them in one shot. Breaker. My turn. Oh, the wolves are gone. Ha! Now it's the banshees. <laughs> Not today. Eye for an eye. There we go. <laughs> they hurt pretty bad. Not today. My turn. Go. Yeah. My Which turn. One gets attacked first. This one. Ah. My turn. Ha. Might as well. Behold the Vander style. Oh, there's a ladder here. All right, let's go up. Uh, we've still got to deal with these. What's bad it's about what them? you might call a pain in the neck in more ways than one. <laughs> Man, this place is a bit more twisty and turning yeah. than I was expecting. Locked and loaded. Let's take care that we don't get lost. We won't get lost. Stop being a worrywart. There's a chest right here as soon as we go up. 50 Sebif. Nice. Oh, that's good. There's a chest over here. Open it. Stop smacking it. Soul blur. R. Nice. Alright, where... Ah, teleportation stone over here. Anything here? Apparently not. There it is. The teleportation stone Roselia told us about. We can use it to get outside, right? Nearly three weeks have passed since the Great Twilight began. I wonder how much has changed. No telling what lies ahead. Don't let your guard down. We can't, so let's go. If you proceed, you will be unable to return to Eren for some time. I did fish and get the fish that are in Eren Village, so let's go to the Ishma Great Forest. Oh, 
Oh, we're just flying. Look at that. So, our destination is Saint Ark. Where are we? Um, are we on the Sutherland side? All I can tell is that we're in a cave. Hmm. You feel that? It's wind, coming from over there. The exit must be that way, then. Let's go. Let us go indeed. Where are we? Oh, there's a little cave. L, we're here. Where is? Th oh, okay. I remember this. Man, that sure is one hell of a trick. Looks like we pop right out it into the woodlands near Saint Ark. I take it you guys are familiar with the place. Yeah, I never would have guessed we'd end up here, though. There are many Aaron flowers here. Ah, this is the spot we visited during our special ops missions, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. Oh yeah, during our first field exercises, we got ourselves into a pretty rough spot now that I think about it. That was four months ago now. Yeah, it feels like an eternity has passed since then. Leave the sentimental stories for later. We're not here to visit memories. There is work to be done. Yes, of course. Our tasks are to investigate the singularity and assess the overall situation in the area. We will need to use our time efficiently. First things first, we need to be out, on, out of this forest. Be on guard and watch out for monsters. We'll defeat all the monsters, of course. Alright. Let's explore, find the chest, and get out of the forest. This is exactly the place where we were, this clearing. But there was never a... There was never a hole there. It was really covered up. Yeah, that was not there. That was not there in the first one. So, yeah. Are they gonna tell me? Oh, look, there's an orbit charging station over there. Yes, the special type that we've seen countless times before, but we're needless to give you a tutorial on it, of course, like always. There's special armor t changing station here. You can restore your HP, EP, enhance your weapons, and synthesize quartz, for those who didn't know. I know, so I'm just gonna rest up. Locked and loaded! Going through here with you guys makes me a little nostalgic. Hmm. Hmm. Poor kids. I should let him be for now. Yeah, we're we're thinking of instructoring. Ah, chest over here. Ooh, that is a beefy monster. Damn! Got him! Don't let up! Alright, what are you? Hmm. You are very weird indeed. Burst everyone. Hell yeah. So you guys can see what the burst is. It almost inflicts um break oh, okay, it inflicted break into everyone. Alright, since I can only attack these. There we go. It's mine. It's my turn. Bash them. Oh yeah, detector on Search this one. Activate. So we can get whatever Detail it is. Obtained. And just kill them with Excel Breaker. Yeah. One more. I'll finish it. Excel Breaker. 
time. There we go. Well, look at that. Two thousand. Well, we found something to grind on. <laughs> Let's see what the chest has. Treasure located. Nuna. Thank you. Four seal. Pretty good. All right, this treasure chest has fresh eggs and milk. Whoa, what is that? This was definitely stronger than the average monster. Indeed, it may be a wanted monster, but even then, it seems somewhat stranger than unusual. Well, whatever it is, we're no strangers to taking down things that big. We can't just let it be. It might end up being a danger to civilians. Yes, I agree. It's not something we can ignore. Even given our current situation, we can spare a moment to handle this. Glad to see you learn something during your field exercises. Well, as your instructor, I've got your back. Don't fear defeat. If you lose, get up, regroup, rethink your approach, and try again. Go get him. And, hey, you do well enough? I've got a few rewards from the principal and medals from the Imperial Army kicking around I can give you. Heh. <laughs> We're not doing this just for rewards. But thanks for the help, Randy. I'll spare no effort to match or even surpass the old Class 7. I'll do my best too. AP and Special Operation ranks. AP as academic points can be earned through completing quests and making appropriate decisions over the course of the story. If your AP passes certain thresholds during a quest report, your instructor rank will increase and you will be granted a reward. Making good decisions, you've accumulated enough AP. There are 15 ranks ranging from B7 to A0. A0. Every rank increases, you receive a perk from the Academy. Thor's Unity. Though this wanted monster quest doesn't count towards it, completing certain quests and sub-events will grant you Thor's Unity points. They're an indicator of how far along you've come in restoring the pride and bonds between members of both campuses of Thor's military academy. Just like with AP, reaching certain thresholds during quest reports will raise the unit grade, earning you rewards. Alright. Perfect. Now view quest notes. Quest tab automatically records in progress all quests you undertake. Please note that when the story progresses, Quests with a time limit of S will vanish from your list and you will be unable to complete them. Okay. Alright, let's take down this monster before, but let's, um, uh, let's actually, uh, yeah, uh, there we go. Let's get our HP, man. To, uh, Good break. I love that they comment on that, too. Looks like a real tough Have one. Alright. Okay, let's ah. just touch it. Can't flinch it or anything, remember that. A powerful enemy. Exercise Ooh. caution. Ouch. Thank you. That didn't hurt at all. My turn. Alright, so let's use a uh, battle scope on the little ones. Yeah. And then we are going to eliminate the little ones first, then go for the big one. Yep, 9,000. So let's actually do this. This should hit... Uh, nope. Okay, I can't hit all. Now's our chance. Let's rush it. That means breaking everything. I'll accept the big one. Not today. Don't give up. Thank you. It's my turn. All right, let's take care of the little one. My turn. And now go for the big one. We do my need turn. detector on him, so let's use that. Scan complete. Perfect. All right. Wait to Earth. What? What did it do? I shall go. Oh, it trapped him. What? That's not fair. Arcus, activate. Here I go. All 
All right. Yuna. There we go. So much HP. My turn. All right, do you have an imbalance? Hmm. Try this on for size. Crimson Gale. All right, now you spit out Kurt. I shall go. All right. I'll assist. Do that. Saver. Ew. 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 Gross. Nope. Why are you so gross? Go. You're nasty. Jeez. Oh no, not enhanced. My turn. Charging. My turn. All right, I need a. Uh, I need to heal myself up. This monster's gonna be a little annoying because of all the HP. Here I go. But we're almost we almost have Excuse you? It can use an S craft? Ugh. I shall go. Oh no. It vanished. There. Both of my oh Here I go. Boy, that sucks. There we go. Goodbye. Battle that was complete. not Let's annoying continue. in the slightest. I thought I'd do a little full level up. Brown hair Randy. 2000 AP. There's a chest here. You don't need to stop smacking them. Five U materials. And there's a fishing thing here. Fishing spot located. Oh, a treasure chest. Stop hitting it. Korea. Alright. And now to fish a little bit and see what we find. <laughs> I could reel in a big haul here. Then reel in a big haul. You don't have big oh. I don't have bait. Ah, oh, great. Well, I am going to leave this episode here that no, I don't have bait. All right. A pretty good episode. We're we finally left the village and we are going to our first destination and we explored a little bit of the forests that we encountered and defeated a big monster, our first boss after that what? forest that, you know, she does not count because she's scary looking. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please leave a like and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social media, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's so go. take care, guys. Bye-bye.